Today, let's talk about how to migrate your host and workload to Microsoft Azure using Cirrus Migrate Cloud. First, if you don't already know, Cirrus Migrate Cloud is a patented solution created to help customers move data from anywhere to anywhere with intelligently minimized workload disruption. Compute Migration is a migration feature specifically designed to migrate not just your data, but also your entire operating system and applications from one platform to another. We will demonstrate migrating from VMware to Microsoft Azure. Let's first walk through how CMC does it. First, we will deploy Cirrus Migrate Cloud on your Linux and Windows host. This host can be a physical server or a virtual machine from any hypervisor. Next, Cirrus Data Cloud will use its Microsoft Azure integration to create a new virtual machine and start your live migration non-disruptively. CMC will also prepare your compute, network, storage environment, and all other necessary remediation steps automatically for you. We have also collaborated with the Microsoft Azure team to create purpose-built integrations with Azure Elastic SAN. CMC can optionally migrate your data volumes directly to Elastic SAN without having to first migrate to Manage Disk and perform a second migration to Elastic SAN. In that case, CMC will also automatically perform all iSCSI and multi-path related host setup for you. When you are ready to cut over, since CMC has already kept your data synchronized in Azure, all we need is to shut down the source and power up the VM in Azure. We are going to migrate this Windows 2019 host with a C drive and a Windows SQL 01 volume to Azure. First, go to Cirrus Data Cloud and deploy Cirrus Migrate Cloud on your host. Copy and paste the Windows or Linux installation command in the shell and CMC will install and register to Cirrus Data Cloud all by itself. Now, we are ready to migrate. Normally, we will come here to create migration sessions manually. You can still do that. But with Cirrus Data's Data Mobility as Code Automation Platform, Migrate Ops, we will be able to set up our operation and complete all tasks with just one click. Migrate Ops is a purpose-built data mobility as code automation platform that is designed to make data migration in enterprise scale easier, safer, and more predictable. We are ready to create our migration operation. Click on Start New Operation, and this will open up an editor window where we can enter the configuration. Like many other industry standard automation tools, this configuration is in YAML syntax. You are recommended to build the configuration with usual coding practices, but you can also create this using our configuration builder in the Cirrus Data Cloud UI. After selecting a recipe, all configuration fields related to that recipe will appear. For this demo, we already have a YAML file prepared. We are providing an operation name and notes, the recipe that we are using, specified host name and integration name, compute configuration. In this case, we will be using a standard D4SV3 machine in US East Region Storage configuration, where we will be migrating our OS disk to premium SSD and all data disks to Elastic SAN. Network configuration. For simplicity, we will just use a wide open security group. And there are many more customizable options that we haven't used. And of course, other typical migration parameters like IQOS, which is a purpose-built feature that intelligently minimizes the impact of migration, allowing CMC to migrate as fast as possible without impacting production I.O. Our YAML file is now pasted into the configuration editor window. Unless the scheduled start time field is specified in the configuration, the operation will start right away. Let's do that. The operation will now execute and proceed. You can monitor the progress with the detailed messages. All necessary steps needed to migrate our host and workload to Microsoft Azure will be shown here, such as installing host drivers, creating the correct type of virtual machine, setting up the network, and any configuration changes that you need in order to be compatible to operate on Azure. Moving on, we can see that a step with the label approval required shows up. Critical tasks, such as a migration cutover in a Migrate Ops recipe, require user approval before execution. In this case, approval is required, where you can also set up a future approval window to precisely control the time of cutover. Let's go ahead and approve the task. The operation has now continued to proceed with cutover. After a brief moment, the operation has been completed. We can now head to our destination Azure environment to validate it. Here we can see that our boot drive has been migrated to the Azure managed disks and all data volumes are on Azure Elastic SAN. 
coming back to our resource group, we can see that the Windows VM is up and running. Since we configured this host to use a public IP address for this demo, let's paste this IP address to the remote desktop to connect to the host. And yes, our machine is running, data is mounted, this entire server has been migrated to Azure successfully. In this demonstration, we have deployed CMC, set up purpose-built integrations, built a migrate ops configuration via YAML, completed a migration operation seamlessly, where we have migrated our host to Microsoft Azure non-disruptively until cutover, migrated selected data disks to Elastic SAN, allowed CMC to automatically prepare our host and configure compute, network, and storage environment in Azure, all with just one click. If you would like to use more advanced features, such as zero downtime cutover, please check out other video demos on our YouTube channel or visit our customer center for the most updated KB articles available on this topic.